Maybe wondering what grain actually is. It is simply the seed of a grass like wheat, rye, or spelt. And whole grain is that seed, that whole berry, left fully intact. So whole grain flour is just that fully intact seed, simply milled. So there are three major parts to a wheat berry or a rye berry. You have the bran on the exterior, that's the hard outer shell. You have the endosperm, which is the white starchy substance. That is the source of energy for the seed to actually begin growing. And then you have the germ, that is the egg. So that's the whole grain, the complete grain. Many times in roller milling, what will happen is as they mill and separate those three items, they'll reincorporate the endosperm, the white starchy part that we think of as flour, with the bran and not allow the germ to be reintroduced because it's not shelf stable. Uh, you have germ oil that has a tendency to go rancid and with flour sitting on supermarket shelves for months and months, they can't guarantee that that will be fresh. So in many instances, these whole wheat flours that you find in the supermarket may not indeed be 100% whole grain. Here, we're simply putting berries into the mill and crushing them and putting it into a bag. So everything's there. The germ oil is essentially expressed and distributed into the endosperm. So you have all of the nutritive value and all of the flavor that comes from that. The stone milling makes a better quality flour, in my opinion. What we're looking at is a distribution of particle size. There are many that believe that the finer the bran particles in particular, the easier it is to make a loftier, lighter loaf of bread. And so we make very fine flour. Hammer milling is a great way to make big things into little things in a hurry. To give you a comparison, we make about 165 pounds of flour an hour off of the big stone mill that we have. We can make about 3,000 pounds an hour on the hammer mill. And for the purposes of brewing and distilling, that's just fine. What they want is access to those starches to get that fermentation going. They're not quite as concerned about this equal distribution of particle size.